What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. I do not even have to say it. We're hopping back onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are showcasing Lunala. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you so much for everybody who supports me as a content creator. It really does go a long way. But getting started with this team, in that top left corner, we have Serena over here with the moveset of Power Whip, Triple Axle, Payback, and U-Turn. Item is Assault Vest, but what we mainly have this Pokemon here for is its ability. It is Queenly Majesty, and it basically blocks every single first turn priority move. It is amazing. Every time she's out on the field, nobody can get hit for first turn priority, so we're going to try to get that Pokemon out every time there is a first turn priority threat. Right next to him, we have Regilecki. This Pokemon is an absolute beast. We have this boy actually Choice Scarf today with Transistor ability. Volt Switch for Pivot, Electro Ball for Stab, Thunder for huge stab damage, and E-Web for speed control. Middle left, we have Tapu Fini, the best Tapu in the game. Misty Surge ability, Citrus Berry, so when our HP falls below half, we get a little bit more back. Moon Blast for Stab, Hydro Pump for big water stab damage, Protect, and Heal Pulse to heal ally Pokemon. Right next to him is the Restricted Mon and the heart and soul of the team. Lunala over here, Shadow Shield ability, Power Herb as his item so we can use Meteor Beam in one turn, and then we have Moon Geist Beam for our stab move, Trick Room to counter up on Trick Room, or if we want to send up Trick Room, we can use it that way, and Protect as its final move. Bottom left is Incineroar, this Pokemon is a beast, I'm not even going to say anything about it, you guys have seen plenty of Incineroar gameplay, there's Incineroar on the team, you probably know, already know what item is rocking, its abilities and its moveset, so it's there if you guys really want to check it out. Final Pokemon on the team is going to be Stockataka. This Pokemon is amazing. I think this guy is super, super good, especially in Trick Room. So we have this Pokemon in case the opposing poke or opposing team wants to send out Trick Room, or if we want to send out Trick Room if they have too much speed on the field. Beast Boost ability, Safety Goggles as item, Rock Slide and Gyro Ball for Stab, Trick Room, and Protect as its final two moves. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look for some wins with this Lunala team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first battle, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team alongside with My Shell, Tornadus, Serena, and then Hatterene and Cinderace. That's looking a little scary. That's looking a little scary. I ain't even going to lie, but how should we go into this? I think we got to play some speed control here. We have Regilecki, so I can go into some E-Webs and rock out from there. I could go Lunala. I think I might go Lunala here. So Lunala just rocks out super, super strong, and it's just a great Pokemon all around. Let's go in with them, too. Bring Incineroar in the back end, and then final Pokemon... Could be Serene, but I really don't think we need it. it might lead to my shell. That could definitely be an option. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? What does Jeans want to do here? Final Pokemon. I don't really see him popping a trick room. I really don't see that happening at all. I could bring Sakataka just in case. But I think we're just going to bring Top of Finny as our final Pokemon. Yeah, I'm digging it. Let's rock out with it. Let's get ourselves a win in our first battle. But guys, a few things I want to go over before the first battle does start is, first of all, we do not have Roboom on our team. I think this is our first time using a Series 10 team without Roboom. And second of all, I'm looking for more Series 10 teams. So if there's any teams or restricted mods that I haven't shown off yet, like the Alga, Lugia, all the above, any of those Pokemon that I haven't shown off yet, then you guys have yourselves a team, send it to me in my Instagram DMs. I would love to get back to you guys and potentially use it for a video. So link to my Instagram is down in the description below, and the name is right below my face. Game. But we're hopping into our first battle, and he throws out Tornadus and my shell, which I, I guess I'm cool with. He's probably gonna fake me out. We have E Ball, and I totally forget what this does. Oh, the faster users target the greater move. Okay, cool. So we have a lot of electric, too much electric. I do want to go for speed control. I am choice, so I'm gonna go there, and I think I might just protect. Or I could go Meteor Beam and get that boost. I'm kind of with that. Dropping a big old Meteor Beam. Let's do it. Let's run. He might tail when he might set up, and I might go for a fake out. So there's the fake out going on to Reg Lucky, which is totally fine. That's why I did not protect my boy there. And that taunt is going to come out from Lunala, which is totally fine, yo. We're coming in for a big attack move. We're coming in for a big attack move. Meteor Beam comes out here, and if that thing is not sash, we get rid of that thing easily. Plus, we get a big old special attack boost, which is huge all around. Just huge all around. So he taunted me, thinking I'm going to go into a trick room, but we said, nah, son. We ain't doing the trick room. We getting right after you. We getting right after you. So let's see how we do with this one. Take him out. Brings him down to set. So he's definitely going to set up a Tailwind here. 100% going to set up Tailwind. I'm just going to start taking Speed Control here. And going in with some lovely little E-Webs. We are Choice Scarf, so our speed is going to be nice. And then I think we just Moon Geist be Beam here. Right? Drop a big old Moon Geist. I'm with it all day, baby. I'm with it all day. There's the Tailwind. Saw that coming. Luckily, you had that Focus Ash, man. If you didn't have that Focus Ash, we are going to be Speed Controlling all day. Close Combat Flies through. That's going to take us out. Yep. That finishes us up. Tough, tough news there. But 
More importantly, we should be able to take out this My Shout, no problem here. Considering he has a special defense boost and we have a special attack boost. But I am digging that right now. I am digging that. Here goes our big old Moon Guy Beam. Yo, look at this. This move's looking nasty, dude. I love the animation for a lot of the Restricted Mon's uh, signature moves. It just makes them so much cooler. I think Rayquaza has a cool one, too. Same thing with uh, Eternatus. But I could go in with Incineroar. Incineroar is not a bad one here. Because A, I can get off Intimidate. And B, I can get a Fake Out for first turn priority. Or I could just go into Top of Fini. But who do I think he's going to bring out here? Potentially Shadow Rider, right? Potentially Shadow Rider Calyrex, right? Let's see. Yeah. There's Shadow Rider Calyrex. I could totally protect my, uh... I could totally protect my Lunala. And just parting shot. Maybe that could... Maybe that could be something here. Maybe that could do something. I'm trying to think of what I should do. I really don't know what I should do. I think I definitely should protect the Lunala. I do have Throat Chop. We could just not go for the Fake Out. Just throw chop him. I'm totally with that. I definitely see him coming after me. Oh, I cannot protect. Can I do a hard swap? Now, it looks like we're just going to go for an attacking move. Looks like we're just going to go for an attacking move here. I say we double up into that. That's rough news. That is rough news. He's definitely going to go for an Astral Barrage. Yep, there it is. Astral Barrage, dude. I want to protect so bad with my taunt. Do not eat up. Eat up, Lunala. Lunala does not eat up. So good thing we did double down onto that Pokemon. That's so rough, dude. That is so rough. All I want to do was protect. And I can't even do that. So hopefully Throw Chop can take this out and we can be sitting in a decent position here. D is orbed. And he's going to go for a Hurricane. And of course it connects. And he's probably going to confuse me. Don't confuse me. Don't do it. Throw Chop comes out. He does not get the confusion. Do we get the KO? Yes, sir. So big KO coming out there. That's huge. That is huge all around. We have this thing down to 1 HP. So it really really matters about what pokemon he has out on the field here but here comes our lovely little figgy berry which is going to give us a decent amount of hp back look at that about 70 hp that's huge on the field and we still have our top of with a citrus berry in the back so this one's gonna be a close battle it's gonna be a close battle it really comes down to who this final pokemon is and it's gonna be hatterene it's gonna be hatterene here top of finney's gonna come out to the field and i'm trying to think how how should i play this one try and think how gene should play this one i don't have protect i don't have first turn priority I could go for a heal pulse. That is an option. But the thing is, if he takes me out, then I just... Hmm, I don't think heal pulse is a play. I don't think heal pulse is a play. So we go for a flare blitz there, and then maybe just drop a moon blast over onto the... Hatterene? I'm with it. We gotta get rid of one Pokemon this round. Here goes Hurricane. So good thing we didn't heal pulse in that, because I think Hurricane takes me out. Yeah. Hurricane takes me out all day, and yo, this is the time I wish I had Muddy Water, you know? It is good to know that we outspeed here, so even through a Tailwind, we're fine. Get off some damage there, and what is Hattering going to go for? A big old Psychic. A big old Psychic. We're able to eat up. We still have our Citrus Berry, which is big, and I think we have to take out this, uh... Do I take out this, uh, what's it called? Can't heal Pulse myself, which is kind of dumb. But I feel like I have to take out this, uh, this Tornadoes here. I probably should have did that last turn. Phone comes out here. That's totally fine. That's a waste of a turn for him. He wastes a lovely little turn. We're able to get off a moon blast and take him out. So we still have our Citrus Berry in the back. And we do outspeed. So if we can eat up two Psychics, we win this game. Let's see. Psychic comes out here. Let's see how much damage he's going to do. So 105 to ooh, 29. We might have to KO here with a Hydro Pump. Yeah, we have to KO here with a Hydro Pump. Tailwind is gone. Ooh. Ouch. Don't like this one bit. Don't like this one bit. Gotta send this Hydro Pump. We got we gotta get like crit or something. This one's gonna dude's coming down the wire. We're probably gonna miss our Hydro Pump anyway. I just have an odd feeling about it. But yo, solid first battle so far. Solid first battle. Maybe we can get a high roll. Maybe we can do some big damage here. Let's get it, Top of Do him dirty, baby. Do him dirty. Let's see it. Let's see what happens here. Hydro Pump's gonna fly through, yo. We need it to connect. Just give us a shot. Just give us a shot. I'd rather lose by not missing this thing. But there's the pump. It connects. Give me the KO. Win it for me, baby. I don't think we are. Oh, my lord. Bring it down, little red. Psychic's gonna come through here, and I believe that's gonna pick up the KO for the win, right? Yep. Brings me down to zero, and that is gonna be GG. First battle came down to the wire. We ended up losing, but hey, we got two more battles to catch our first win for today's video.
I'm convinced in that first battle, if Lunala was able to protect, we would have won that battle. That would have gave us a Pokemon advantage. Lunala wouldn't have went down to the uh, the Shadow Rider Calyrex, and we would have been thriving there. But it's all good. We are sitting at 0-1, hopping into our second battle, going up against a Kyogre team. And he also has Urshfu, Serena, can't have Kyogre team without Tornadus, and then Rillaboom and Weavile. So he has multiple fake-out options, which leads me to want to bring uh, Serene in the back end, so maybe I can just throw him out there and... Uh, and waste some turns. So I'm going to go Regilecki as a lead. I think I feel like that's a great lead. Next Pokemon, I kind of want to go Incineroar. But at the same time, Tapu Fini's not bad. Tapu Fini's not bad. Or I could just lead this Pokemon right here. Hmm. What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do here? What does Jeans want to do here? Incineroar's not bad here as well. I'm going to bring Incineroar. I think I'm going to lead Incineroar, bring Serene, and then Lunala as my final Pokemon. I feel like that rocks out. I feel like that does a lot of work. And I feel like we should be good from there, right? No, I want the Tapu finish. Maybe should I lead the Tapu? Hmm. The withdrawal. Oh no, we got we got lock in. We got lock in. We just change up the order. And I don't. We didn't even lock in. We didn't even lock in. So hopefully I get the team that I wanted to. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe they fix it for Series Ten, where if you pick Pokemon, they're on your team. Oh man, this could be rough because it's a Kyogre team. So if I do not have like the lead I want, it could be detrimental if he leads Kyogre. So let's see who he goes out into. He's going to go out into... Uh-oh. Yo, we need a good lead. Show me Regilecki, yo. Give me Regilecki. All right, yo. I'm with it. I'm with it. I think this is the lead I wanted. I think this is... Uh, this isn't the lead I wanted, but uh, I'll take it all day. I'll take this lead all day. So the rain has started. You could set up an easy tailwind. We are choice scarf here. And... Hmm. What do I have? I have Tapu Fini and Luna. Okay, yo. I'm cool with that. I'm really cool with this team. I think we can definitely pick up a win here. I'm going to drop a big old Power Whip. That again for you. He might uh, end up protecting. But we're just going to E-Web and start taking Speed Control here. And I think uh, Regilecki could be fastest on the field here. Let's see who he goes out into. He's going to end up swapping his Kyogre for Serene over here. Which is totally fine. Which is totally fine. We're going to be able to get off a big old E-Web here. A lovely little E-Web. Deal some damage over onto that Tornadus. And get rocking out from there. E web flies through here. And it, ooh, it's Wakan Berry flying out here. And we probably are faster than both these guys with this choice scarf. And they're minus one now. So I'm with it all day. I'm with this turn all day. We got a speed drop on both of them. That's huge. And I feel like another uh, another E-Web could potentially take out that uh, what's going on. Oh, you avoid a power whip. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. We're going to go for a triple axle here. Try to finish you off and just drop another E-Web. I think that's 100% our play. We're choice scarf. We definitely have speed advantage here. We're going to lower our speeds to another stage and maybe pick up a double KO. I don't know. I don't even think we're going to be able to take out the, uh, the Tornadus. We'll see. It's going to be close. Maybe I should double up into it, but I'm really not too worried about it. He does have Hurricane, which could just dump on my Serene, but we are going to be able to get off a Triple Axle and potentially pick up a huge KO onto the, uh, their Serene. So you have pops out from here. And see, that does not end up picking up the KO. That's rough. That is real rough. Bring that thing down to the red. But more importantly, we got that speed drop that we really, really like. And then another triple axle is going to fly through here. And this hurricane outspeeds. And that's just going to take me out, isn't it? No, we bulky. We bulky, baby. So that's huge. Triple axle. You outspeed me? You outspeed my Serene here? I'm a little confused on that one. I'm super confused on that one. Why is that? Why is that? You're minus two. You are minus two. Come on, hit the third one. Oh, he eats a berry first. Or is it turn over? Or does he eat the berry before the turn? That's whack. We get a third one? We do. Wow. That's nutty. That is nutty. All right. Yo, I'm, I'm confused. I want to see the speeds on this Pokemon real quick. This thing's got to be dirt slow. This thing's got to be dirt slow. I swear. 93. 93. I'm just confused to why that thing is outspeeding my other one. He's minus two. But you have definitely going to fly in here. And I'm going to uh, potentially do a U-turn or I could hard swap. I mean, we'll do a U-turn just in case uh, we need that Pokemon in the back end. So we're just going to go for an E-Web here and try to rock out from there. See how this one plays out. E-Web comes through. Is it going to be double KO or can we get off a U-turn? Dang, I really want to get off my U-turn, but there's double KO from Regilecki. We are wasting out some Tailwind turns, which is wonderful. And the real question is, can the Regilecki outspeed the Kyogre right now? That's a huge, that, that's huge for us. So we might end up protecting. I could Power Whip and go for an E-Web. I still have Lunala and uh, Tapu Fini in the back. So Tapu Fini's great up against Kyogre. Well, it's better for a Kyogre one-on-one. One-on-one, -on -one. One -on -one, I see my Tapu Fini taken out. So I like having that Tapu Fini. I don't mind it. And Urshfu is going to be the final mod. So 
So I'm cool with that. I am just going to drop a power whip and I think I'm just going to hit that thing and I'm just going to e-web all around. Let's do it. Let's do it. This thing actually might be rocking sucker punch. That could be scary. Water spout comes out here. He outspeeds 100%. That's going to KO my uh, red selecty 100%. And maybe Serene get off power whip? Probably not. Earth speed definitely outspeeds. So He's going to take me out from there. Don't like it. I don't like this, man. Surgeon strikes come through here. Dang, man. Surgeon strikes. That's still going to be able to take me out in the rain. Yeah, look at that. Big old damage coming out here. Crits all around. Dude, Kyogre is strong. Kyogre is so good. Especially in a Tailwind. Um, I think he might have one more turn Tailwind. I'm trying to think here. He might have one more turn. We have both these Pokemons with Protect on both of them. That could be big for us. It could be big for Jeans. The thing is, he's going for a Water Spell. He's going for, he's going for Water Moves here. He's going for Water Moves, and we know Urshifu can hit through Protects. I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Not in the slightest. So let me see the tailwind turns here. Is it one? It might be one. It should be one if a, if rain's one. Oh, their tailwind's gone? Did they not set up a tailwind or did it just end? They might have not set up a tailwind. I thought he did. I could have sworn he did. I'm going to go here and I think I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to protect here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to protect here. I'm just gonna protect here. Let's protect. He's definitely going for another water spout here. But as long as I can uh, deal some damage on this Earth Spirit, we should be fine. I don't see that dealing too, too much damage to, to my Tapu Fini here. Let's go here. Yeah, Tapu Fini's able to eat. And what's he going for with the uh, Earth Spirit? He might be going for certain strikes, which he is. And that's gotta be going after Lunala, right? That hits through protect, which is totally fine. I just need to block that water spout. So I'm cool with that turn all day. Considering we get off a heavy moon blast over here, and if this picks up a KO, that could be big for us. That could be super, super big for us. There's the three shots. Pokemon was hit three times. Here goes our moon blast. A lovely little moon blast. Take this thing out. Tell this Pokemon to go in. He's Sash. Yo. Of course he's Sash. Of course this Pokemon is Sash. And now we gotta sit here and eat up another water spout. Oh, it's one bit. But rain is over. But the lovely little rain is over. Alright, rain's gone. Um, mm, I guess we'll go for another moon blast here. And maybe we'll go for a meteor beam. We have to go for a meteor beam. We have to do something here. I still think if both his Pokemon will outspeed me. They do, because it, the rain wasn't even out of control and speed. Another water spout comes out here. Maybe we can eat. Lunala still goes down. That's going to be G's. That's going to be G's. All day. All day GG's. All day GG's. That's rough news. We still have our Citrus Berry. But dude, we're getting murked out here. We are getting murked. Lunala team is not working for us. Surge Strikes can come through here. We could probably eat this one up here and bring it down to a 1v1, but I think I should have, uh, I should have, uh, focused on that Kyogre a bit more. A bit more than we did. So, we're down to 65 HP. And Moonblast is going to fly through here finish off that Pokemon. So, 1v1 situation, dude. We should have focused on that Kyogre a little bit more. I tried getting rid of him earlier, but we just, we just weren't able to. I really wanted to get rid of him with the uh, Serene and Regilecki, but it just did not work out. It just did not work out. We gotta drop a Moonblast. Protect won't do anything for us. So we're gonna go after it this way. He's probably just gonna drop a nice big old Water Spout again. And I think that's gonna be able to do enough damage, if not bring us super, super close. And there's no way we're taking this thing out in one shot. Brings us down to four, yo. Just saying there's a chance. We need him to miss his attack. And we need to deal at least half here, but I don't think I don't even think we're gonna do half. Right? Yeah, yeah. This one's over with. Wrap it up! Wrap it up. Do I save the poor Tapu Fini? I think we do. We're just going to run this battle. It is over. GG's. We're 0-2. You guys already know the deal. We don't get sweeped in these videos. So we're hopping into our third and we're guaranteeing you guys a win here. If you guys have been viewing my videos for a good amount of time, you guys know the two rules on my channel when playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. One, we don't get swept in a battle. And two, we do not go 0-3. So I'm promising you guys a victory here. We have to get a victory because I do not break my rules. Do not do that. He, uh, he has Whimsicott on his team with Xerneas, Rillaboom, Regilecki, Milotic, and Volcarona. So we got to get after it. We have to pick ourselves up a win here. Because if I break my rule, we got to end the channel. That's the rules, man. That is the rules. So we're going to go with Regilecki. We definitely need speed control. Definitely need speed control. Let me think about this one a little bit more here. A little bit more in depth today. He has... what? Well, I kind of want to leave that Incineroar. I don't want to leave that Incineroar. He might go in with, uh, with Whimsicott. 
and someone else. So I'm going to lead them to. Uh, next Pokemon I am going to bring in is going to be... I want Lunala. I want Lunala, man. Stick with my guns. I feel like we do, don't need Cesarine here. I think we're thriving without it. And I might go Citrus Berry. I might go uh, Citrus Berry top of here. Do I want that same squad? No, it's not the same squad. So we're going to rock out with it. We're getting after it. We're going to grab ourselves a win here and go one and two for today's video. The first two battles were actually really good battles. It came down to the wire. We should have focused on that Kyogre a little bit more. And I feel like that first battle, we lost to that Protect over there. Shadow Rider Calyrex able to do some big damage onto us. But you guys see my Incinema just one tap that thing. That thing is a glass cannon. It's very fast. Hits like a truck. But if you hit it with a dark move, it is done with. It is done with. Volcarona pops out here alongside with Xerneas as his lead. We're going to go in with these two boys. Um, I'm and might end up just uh, what do I do here? Taking out the Zern, just letting a Rage Powder fly out here and drop his speed. That could be play. That could be play. So I can definitely see a Rage Powder popping out here. I think we're just gonna E Web here, start taking speed away from everybody, and just fake out. Just fake out and potentially parting shot the next turn. So let's just start lowering speed because I can definitely see a Rage Powder coming out and a uh, Geomance with the Power Herb. All that good stuff. All that good stuff, baby. So let's see it happen. Dang, this would be a good time to actually have Roller Boom on the team. Because I can just go for a, what's it called? Kind of read that protect, so I'm fine with that. I just faked it out just in case, but it's totally fine. But this would be a good time to have Roller Boom because I can just lower speed and go for a knockoff and just take off his Power Herb and then waste another turn when he goes for Geomance. Would have been rocking all around. But e pops through here. We're going to drop speed of that Volcarona in a little bit, which is wonderful. And I might just pardon shot next turn. And then I think that might be... Ooh, wait just a minute. What are you doing? I think setting up Quiver Dance all day. Special attack getting boosted. Special defense. And speed. And speed. This thing is nutty. Let's go here. And I think we just got to go for a nice lovely little pardon shot here. Or I can double down. We don't want to go after. Let's go after Zern. The Zern might set up. We might try to focus down on this Volcarona. Rage Powder is going to fly through here. There it is. And we're going to be able to parting shot onto him anyway. Which is totally fine by me. Ewebs going to start slowing down. Rocking out there. We are choosing that, which is totally fine. Speed gets to drop. And Pardon Shot is going to be able to fly through here. He's going to Geomance up, which I'm cool with. I'm really cool with that. Geomance going to fly through here, through here. Something we saw coming from a mile away. And I still feel like my Regilecki should out, be able to outspeed, even though he's plus one on speed. We are Choice Scar. We are Choice Scar. So Pardon Shot is going to slide over to the Volcarona, which is totally fine here. Which is totally fine. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Don't want that thing hitting too hard. Barn shot flies through. And we're gonna get ripping. We're gonna get after it. So, do I bring in Lunala? Do I bring in the lovely little Lunala? And just protect it. I could just protect the Lunala. And go for a uh, speed drop here. That might be my play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna force the Lunala out here. And I'm just gonna drop the protect. And go for another E-Web. Take speed control once again. I just protect my lovely little boy. Just protect him. Don't need anybody touching up on him. He could go for another Rage Powder. You never really know. Protect coming out here. Mm, blocks. Putting up our blocks. Putting up our shields. E-Web outspeeds everybody. That is huge for us. We're going to be able to do that. So as long as he doesn't double down into me. Actually, he might be able to KO my, uh, my what's called here. My Regilecki. Well, let's see what he does. He's eating berries now. This dude's nuts. This dude's nuts. Eating berries right in front of me. I'm trying to battle. He's gonna drop a moon blast. Moon blast is actually gonna go after Red Lucky. That's gonna take him out, no problem. No problem that takes him out. Wow. So he ends up dropping there, and what are you going for here? He's going for a fiery dance, which we're just gonna be able to block it up and roll off from here. Okay, I'm cool with that. I could bring you out again. I'm with that. I'm gonna bring you out here. I'm gonna fake out the Xerneas or pull out a protect from that thing. And I'm just gonna rock out with a moon guys beam. Not a moon guys beam. I uh what is it called? I want my I want my what's called out. On my special attack. My Meteor Beam. We're doubling up on the beams. We have two beams for that Pokemon. And I honestly just think he's going to go for a Protect. So good. No, we're just going to pose that Fake Out. We're just going to pose that Fake Out. I'm going to say, Ayo, hey, you get out of my game. Take you out. I could actually go. I could have went for a Trick Room this turn. Trick Room could have been the play. It probably should have been the play, to be honest with you guys. It probably should have been the play here. Fake Out comes through here. And I'm get, getting off the block. Or not the block. The flinch. Meteor Beam flies through. And we say, hey, yo, Volcarona, get out of my game. We don't need you here. We don't need you here. So now I actually could end up protecting here. And going for a, what's it called? A parting shot. 
We could just keep pestering around here and doing work. But there's my special attack boost. We finally get rid of this Volker runner. We tell it to get out of our face. And now if we get rid of this deer, we can be sitting pretty here in battle number two. The Volcarona, big fiery bug, get out of my game. Don't want you. I don't want you. Like I said, guys, yo, I promise you guys this victory. He's going to end up dropping Rillaboom here. Um, I could protect. I could go for a party shot. I mean, I could just hard swap. He, he has to fake out onto my Incineroar, so what do I want to do here? He has to fake out onto Incineroar. I am Ghost on the other slot. Happy Finny. Um, I could go for a fairy move. What do I want to do? I just hard swap. Hmm. You know, we're just going to keep him in. We're going to take this fake out. We're just going to go for his flare blitz over on this slot. But you know what? I'm going to get off an attack. I'd rather be able to go for a parting shot. Over on Zern. And I think we just move guys beam. We just move guys beam over to this thing. Try to pick up the KO because that could be a big KO for us. Big guys can come out here. Saw that coming all day. But we just want to take that one for the team. And move is going to fly through here. Who are you going after? We go after Incineroar. So Incineroar, oh my lord, gets absolutely dumped on. Zernius is too good, man. He's so good. He's so good all around. Moon Guys Beam pops out here. Hopefully we can pick up the KO here. This real boom is going to be a pain in the neck. I ain't even gonna lie. Guys, guy. We have to get rid of him now. He's posing a huge threat. But Moon Guys Beam ends up picking the KO. We get up, we get a crit, but I think we were taking him out regardless. We are sitting plus one. And we gotta bring out Tapu. We gotta bring out Tapu here. Tapu Finny. Coming out here, who's his final mod? Comes down to a 2v2, we are plus one, and he has Milotic here. But I don't think really Milotic's posing that big of a threat on me, unless he has freeze dry. Could coil and all that, but I, I ain't too worried. I'm not too worried about it. They definitely gotta protect it. Oh no, we changed the terrain. We just changed the terrain, which I really, really like. I could moon blast. I could go for a moon blast and double up in the little boom. But I think I still protect here. And I just drop a moon base beam into the boom. We have to get rid of Rollboom. Rollboom's a big threat here. Protect from the Finny comes out here and a big terrain swap. Gotta love it. Gotta love the terrain swap here. Moon Guys Beam, so we saw where speed lies. My Lunala is fastest. He is still plus one, yo. Lunala coming up. Let's do him dirty, Lunala. I love this Pokemon. Love this Pokemon a lot. And that does more than half, so that leads me to say we can take out Lunala in one or uh, Rollboom next turn. Do not give me a burn. Do not do me dirty. Knockoff comes out here. Ooh. I'm taking off. Ooh, ooh. I'm taking off my item. Taking off my item. I don't have an item, but I'm going to go for a heal pulse, which is exactly what I'm going to do, and I'm going to try to take you out here with the moon Guys Beam. That's my plan. That is the Gene's plan. He could protect here. I could definitely see it popping out here, which he doesn't. That's huge. So, Roll Boom goes down. We get off the heal pulse. Lunala is going to be alive for much longer here, and that's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's. Hey, yo, what did I say? Your boy does not break promises on the channel, and we do not break rules either. We don't break rules whatsoever. We're gonna be able to go one and two for today's video, which is awesome. Lunal gets a huge HP. Yo, heal pulse gives you so much HP for no reason. For no reason. But he did make a huge protect read. I don't even know if he was trying to make a protect read, but we ended up protecting and wasting a turn that last round. I could heal pulse again, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Because I don't wanna break my rule. I don't wanna break my rule. But I wanna make sure I wanna secure this victory 100 percent And there's the cancel battle. We grab our win and we go one and two for today's video. Not a bad set of battles for today. We did go 1-2, and end up grabbing a losing record. But the first two battles that we lost were really, really close. Came down to the wire. And in that third and final battle, I promised you guys victory. And I prevailed on that promise. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.